Alright, as a... I started the stream here if people want to hop in. Otherwise you won't be able to see the presentation. I'm trying to get things set up so I can... Watch... Memology 101. I really need another credit point this semester, so if you, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. get one. Yeah, I mean, it'll depend how, you know, engaged you are. Quiz. Yeah, there, there'll there be a quiz at the <laughs> end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, two, three, five. All right, it looks like everyone's in here. Um, I'll do a little introduction, you know, since this is our first lecture of the year. My name is, is Professor Pars. Call me uh, Pars, you know, Ace. I think I'm just going to call you PP instead. <laughs> okay, um, great start to the year. Uh, so uh, this class, if you didn't, you know, just to make sure everyone's in the right class, this is Memeology 101, so everyone, you know, sometimes you walk into the wrong class. Oh. Uh, they must have been in the wrong class. Wait, what is happening? Well, <laughs> yeah. I was in the wrong class. I had to... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Um, wow, Dad. Way, way to be slow <laughs> on the uptake there. Okay. Um, yeah, this is this is Memeology 101. Uh, it's a four-credit course. Just be going over the basics of, you know, the entire major. Um, talking about, you know, like the core aspects of it. Uh, and our first lecture uh, will be on the front page of the internet. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's www.reddit.com. Um, it's a great place, also an awful place. It depends on what part of Reddit you're on. Uh, but this is kind of the, the focus here is, is Reddit, um, as that is a place very ripe full of memes. Um, so, uh, why is Reddit popular? Uh, well, I give it fact because of a large-scale events that happen daily on the platform. This is something that might be similar to the world record egg. If you were a part of that um, back in the day, uh, basically the most liked post on Instagram was an egg. Yeah, that's, that's about it. It was, it was pretty cool if you liked the egg your name on it, you can see your friend's names on it. A pretty egg. special egg. Um, it also has a very unique system on how uh, posts obtain popularity, which is through karma. You know, you upvote things that you think it's cool, and then it goes up further. You know, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's also a variety of subreddits. Uh, this is probably one of the better aspects of Reddit, is that you can find the stuff that you like and personalize it to yourself, which, I mean, is like most social media, but they, most social media don't really have like posting boards for every single topic. You can't really make, make your own community in a sense. Um, what if I don't like people? Well, that's great. Cause you don't need to like people for Reddit. You're everything's anonymous. You can just there's pretend everyone's a robot. Yeah. There's also a subreddit for it. I guarantee it. <laughs> uh, but here, here's a good example of a very unique subreddit. Um, you haven't heard of it? It's r slash cat standing up. And yeah, it, there's it's just pictures of cats standing up. Um, the unique thing about it is that you can only title the post cat with a period and a capital C. If you do not do that, you will get banned. I'm not, I'm not joking. You will straight up get banned if you do not do that. Also comments. You can only comment cat. That's it. You comment anything else, it'll get auto deleted, and you will get banned. Have you tested this out? Uh, personally, yes. Okay. Yeah, it can confirm. Two accounts actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let, let's go over the basics here a little bit. Um, the front. Now that I've introduced you to why Reddit is popular, we need to show you what Reddit is. Um, so the the front page is you know what you open up when you see Reddit. Um. And it is customly generated with all the subreddits you are sub to, uh, which makes it a very nice place because you see all of the top posts of every single subreddit you like. 
Uh, and this is what the front page looks like. As an example, you can see here that Elon Musk is posting on Twitter about Mario Kart. Uh, pretty cool. Um, now you can see the upvotes, uh, 8.4K, 1.3K, uh, and then it also shows the specific subreddit of where it is. You can also click that to go specifically if you're like, whoa, that's a cool post. You can click it to go to that subreddit and see the other top posts. Um, pretty cool feature, you know. Uh, so now we're going to be talking about my personal favorite subreddit and one of the biggest meme uh, fuels to society in general, uh, which is r slash me IRL. You're probably wondering why. And so am I, but we will we'll get to that, okay? Um, it's known as one of the biggest meme subreddits on the site. If you thought Dank Memes was the biggest meme subreddit, you are in the wrong place. Uh, please leave. I'll give you, you know, a couple minutes to pack your stuff and get out. <laughs> right. Come back, come back. Okay, okay. All right. Um, yeah, what makes me IRL, me IRL so great is uh, memes act as inside jokes to the users. Now, this is a kind of... I, w I will say there hasn't been many of this um, recently, uh, but back in 2016 to like 2018 is peak me IRL, um, and I'll show you. I'll show you why. We'll get into that. Um, uh, but yeah, visiting the subreddit daily is a must if you want to understand what a certain meme means and why it is so funny and why you know like you'll find it funny. Um, uh, also, the title of Posts are just me IRL. There's a little creativity, a little underscore you can change to like emojis and stuff. So, you know, you won't get banned if you do it. You'll just get your post deleted. It's not as severe as cat. They're very serious over there. You know, we're a little more relaxed here. Um, but here here's a good example. Uh, this is Reginald. Um, and everybody says hi to Reginald. Uh, but he's only, he's, he's only there on alternating Tuesdays. Um, yeah. The, Yes, uh, we will get to the Wednesday frog. Uh, Reginald is just the beginning. But as you can see, this has 26,000 upvotes. <laughs> and it's usually the same way every single rotating Tuesday. Um, Reginald will pop up on your timeline and it'll have a couple thousand upvotes. Uh, it's pretty great. It's a great place to be. Um, so yeah, now we're getting on to what you mentioned, the, the Wednesday frog, which is probably the longest lasting meme to date. It still holds up as an amazing meme. And every Wednesday you can see him. Um, and this is the Wednesday frog. It is, it is Wednesday, my dudes. And that's, uh, that's it. But it, the meme evolves. It's not just about the Wednesday frog. It's about the message that the Wednesday frog has, you know, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> um, some good examples of the creativity that's around this meme. Uh, here we have tis Wednesday fellow chaps. Um, you know, we have lots of different versions of this meme that really uh, make an impact on everyone's lives, um, such as time is a subjective human construct and no bearing on external realities. Let, thus, it does not matter what day it is, my dudes. This is a good one. This one will get posted on, on any day other than Wednesday, basically. Um, then we have uh, when net neutrality was, was a thing um, in America, if you remember that. Uh, you know, Senator Wednesday Frog would appear uh, and fight for net neutrality. Uh, good time. Good time. Um, and then this one, this one always gets posted on Tuesday. Because, you know, soon it'll be Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this one gets posted in October. Just October, specifically. Spooktober. Yeah, Spooktober. Um, yeah, that's when it gets pretty spooky around me. I really try to, you know, tend to avoid it. Then it gets a little scary. Lots of skeletons. Um, but what about Mr. Skeletal? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we don't talk about him. Um, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, see me after class, Biker. <laughs> All right. Uh, the other thing is that <laughs> the Wednesday Frog made it onto the Wikipedia, which is pretty cool. <laughs> like, just to show you how you know, like, much of an impact this meme has had on society. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a good one, too. Uh, it's always Wednesday somewhere is what they say, right? <laughs> is that true? I don't, you know, I don't think so, but it's a good, a good one. All right, so next, uh, we're going to talk about another pretty big event, 
that left a huge mark on the community of me IRL, and that is uh, the legacy of Lord Tuts. Uh, for a show of hands, does anyone know who Lord Tuts is? I don't. But I know, Dad. I guys, it's raising your hand does not involve talking. What? All right, um, Biker. I'll go home. <laughs> no way, you're. We'll see me Flat after class. Considered talking. No, you you you're allowed to laugh. Haha. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, this is the legacy that Lord Tuts had. Um, he posted one day. This gets ten thousand upvotes. I'll tattoo tomorrow's top post of me IRL on my ass. And as you would have guessed, it got over seventy five thousand upvotes. If you actually sort me IRL by top post of all time, it is within the top 10, I believe. Um, and the next day, this is what got the top post, which is the entire B-movie script. <laughs> uh, and this got 73,000. This is still also one of the top posts ever in me IRL, which is great. Um, so yeah, uh, can we get, I, I, you know, some participation here? Can we get a guess on what, what happened next here? Uh, uh, Lord Tut's got the script of the B-movie tattooed on his ass. Okay. Is this appropriate for class? Yeah, this is appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> well, did, he just, did, did he just tattoo yellow black, yellow black, yellow black on his ass? All right, well, well good guesses, but uh, both no. Uh, this is what was posted the day after. You fools, did you actually think I'd tattoo my ass for fake internet points? You really are easily bamboozled. What a plot twist. I have been bamboozled. <laughs> so Damn, that's the original bamboozle. You were around uh, 2017, 2018. There was a huge spike in the word bamboozle. And this is where it came from. The whole, the whole, you got bamboozled, or I'm bamboozling you. This is where that trend came from. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, original. I'm not joking. <laughs> the Temtem move after this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is where the Temtem move bamboozle came from. Yaw is a is a very active user on me IRL, so uh, it would it would make sense, you know. Yaw is secretly. <laughs> <laughs> Yaw is Lord Tuts. Um, but people were not happy. This was one of the mods of the subreddit, uh, saying, you're a no-good scam artist. You told us you'd put a meme on a butt, but you've only put your butt into our memes. Um, it was a good time. Uh, but this also uh, started a resurgence of memes such as getting bamboozle insurance um, and people reminding each other to renew their insurance so that you know they don't get bamboozled again. Um, there's also a subreddit called Karma Court. Um, that takes on Lord Toots Bamboozle as a case. Um, I, I don't have the link to it, but if you just look it up, you can find it pretty easily. Um, they're pretty serious about this. Uh, you know, Dino Guy 2 um, was saying it's a, clearly a textbook case of Grand Theft Auto Vote. Um, stuff like that, I would recommend going and reading it yourself if you're interested. Um, this might be an assigned homework later to, to read this and kind of give a, a little paper on it. Um, but it was a long and hard-fought trial, uh, but eventually Lord Tuts was pronounced innocent. Um, again, if you want to learn why, I would, uh, would recommend going and reading the entire trial. It's a, it's a great trial. Hardly fought. Um, so then what happened to Lord Tuts? Well, he became an official flair that users can put on their comments. Just hates Lord Tuts. It's, it's quite a legacy. Um, but now... We need to talk about a more positive legacy that we still see today in, in me IRL. Not a lot of people talk about Lord Tuts anymore, but Water Guy uh, is still a very famous figure um, in, in the community in general. Um, and if you're wondering where this originated from, um, Water Guy 12 uh, posts a post saying he will be several hundred miles away from Wi Fi until August 14th and to comment his username on any good memes so I don't miss out. Um, and this is also a good post describing, uh, what happened, uh, but me IRL, this got almost 50,000 upvotes. Um, I was here for this personally, as you can see, I upvoted it. Um, 
you can't upvote so like posts get archived so you can't upvote things in the past so that's how you know like you know like i'm i'm a really a professor on this stuff you know i was there when it happened he's an og yeah um so yeah it all began around 2017 uh when he posted this uh and for the weeks after the post, every single post would have a reference to Water Guy saying that, oh, Water Guy would like this. Oh, this is a great meme. Um, literally every meme for like two weeks would have someone saying, you know, Water Guy would like this. Um, this also surfaced lots of uh, Guy 12 wars and names uh, to participate in the shenanigans. Um, many were very funny and supportive, but there was also uh, the oppositional Fire Guy 12. Um, and their relationship is still pretty rocky, Fire Guy 12 and Water Guy 12. You know, they're both opposites. Um, and as August 14th drew near, the, the meme continued to grow uh, until he responded, and he returned to offer an AMA, which was wonderful. This was his uh, post back, which got almost double the amount of upvotes. Uh, 80,000, which was more than Lord Tuts got uh, for saying he'll tattoo the top post of the next day on his ass. Um, having 3,200 notifications, uh, a lot of his Reddit posts being guilted from the past, um, and thanking everyone for making sure he did not miss out on any great memes. Um, and here we go, I had to include him in the screenshot, uh, but hello future meme historians, include me in the screenshot. Me too, thanks, you know. Gotta do everyone justice uh, when you're, you know... Um, Oh looking God. back at historical times <laughs> uh so then uh we have the ama or this wasn't the ama um this was uh still one of the most upvoted posts of all time is when water guy 12 posted the wednesday frog yeah this was this was pretty historic i remember this too this was great uh was it a wednesday when he posted yeah yeah, yeah it was a wednesday and yeah, almost reaching 100,000 upvotes, which is insane again. You know, everyone commenting, you know, stuff like, where were you on this historic day? Uh, stuff like that. It was, it was really a wonderful time. Um, and here we have some more, uh, some more interactions with Water Guy 12. All he wants is a, for Christmas is a sploosh from Water Guy 12 and for my parents to stop being divorced. And I, if, you go, if you want to sing along here, you know, uh, Water Guy splooshes them. And then they're like, whoa, we're halfway there. <laughs> Thank you, Baker. I'll give you extra credit for that. That's, that was good. That was good. Yeah. All right. Uh, now on to the AMA, uh, which, if you don't know, stands for Ask Me Anything. And uh, Water Guy 12, in his wonderful self, um, became a meme by accident and is doing a, doing an AMA. Here's what I think were, were the best parts. Um, someone asked, what is your stance on big water? And Water Guy responded, very big and very water. I think there's a lot to really think about uh, with this answer. Yeah, just, you know, think about it. Oh, as deep as the ocean. Yeah, there, there we go. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of really deep topics that you could, uh, you know, have around yeah, this conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's also a bot uh, that was made, a Reddit bot, that would just mention WaterGuy12 on every single uh, post. Um, and I thought this was just a funny interaction with the WaterGuy12 commenting. Uh, what, what do you think of me? And, you know, has science gone too far? Um, uh, and then at, at one point he said, I'll let the questions build up when then answer them all at once. And when the world needed him most, he vanished. Just like, you know, when he first posted. Um, this was a good one here. Uh, who are your favorite guy 12s? Um, and he, he never responded to this one. Uh, but Rainbow Guy 12 was, please be me. Please be me. But who knows? It could have been Rainbow Guy 12. It could have been, you know, Fire Guy 12. I doubt it'd be Fire Guy 12. Um... And if you're wondering where he we went for two weeks, and if he enjoyed it, he went to Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico, and it's the best trip he's ever been on. Pretty cool. Um, he needs better vacations. Yeah, he does. That I, I wouldn't go to New Mexico. Blame. Um, 
And then also a very important question, how do you plan on continuing things with Fire Guy 12? Um, and he gives a good, a good answer. Maintain the peace. No Guy 12 deserves death. And, of course, it leaves us all with the question, what did No Guy 12 do to deserve death? Um, I see what they did there. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, uh, that's Water Guy 12. This is a, and I have a more recent event. Um, not very recent at the time that I made this presentation. Uh, or as when I made the presentation, uh, but we have beefy cabbage. Um, has anyone here heard of beefy cabbage before? No. Okay. Well. Uh, uh, this is and, what you're being paid to teach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm. You know, I'm just. I'm just. You know, asking to get some participation out of people. Um, so this was a post that beefy cabbage made. Uh, the only post ever on its account. Um, and he posted this random que this random uh, meme um, predicting January 5th that the Queen of England would die. Uh, and this was posted, like, in December of uh, 2018. Like, a month before. Um, and for some reason, it got a shit ton of traction at 50,000, almost 50,000 upvotes. Um, then, of course, uh, more memes about this would come up that the queen would die on January 5th. Obviously, the queen didn't die, but it was really funny. And how weird would it have been if the queen died on January 5th of 2019 after this was posted? Um, early after looking into this account, it's one of the most mysterious accounts of Reddit history, um, quite frankly. Um, this is a good example of, you know, some of the stuff that was posted. You know, if the queen dies on January 5th, some people, me, IRL, would be posting memes about it. Um, you know, it's pretty awful looking back on it, but yeah, I mean, no, no one's British here, right? We can talk shit about the queen. So when she's an old broad. She should die. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, when I mean the most mysterious account of Reddit, uh, literally the day after he posted this, uh, he deleted his account and this was the only post that the account posted. So the account was made days before they posted this, and then they posted this and then deleted the account. So there are these big theories that they were a hitman or something, or they were looking to murder the queen, you know? Um, Illuminati confirmed. Yeah. Nobody will ever know. So uh, one thing, um, just to give you like a brief insight on other subreddits I enjoy, uh, and what we might be looking at more in this, um, in this class, um, Ask Reddit. Ask Reddit's a great one. Um, and this this example that I just pulled, you know, people ask questions and they answer them. It's a pretty basic subreddit. Most people have heard of it. You know, what's the worst lesson someone could learn from a Disney movie? Um, with an answer being from Aladdin, I thought melons could easily be cracked open over a mini. Some tears and a very bruised knee later, I found this was not, in fact, a real thing. Yeah, so a uh, good lesson to learn here. Um, this will be on the test, by the way. Make sure you take notes. Uh, you cannot break. Uh, or crack open a watermelon over my over your knee. I don't think that's the worst lesson you could learn. Um, he's wrong. You know who's the professor here? Who has who has the PhD? Yeah, yeah, that's I what mean, I thought. You don't have to have a PhD to be a professor. You're, we're, you're still seeing me after class. This is unacceptable behavior. Um. I also really like r slash confessions, um, another really kind of like, you know, like basic bitch ass subreddit, but it's a good one. Um, you know, it being I used to rent my apartment to a friend of a friend who screwed me over by moving out with no notice five months before he promised. An insurance company that he used to or used has been trying to send him a rebate for $350 um, and is sending subscription reminders saying that he needs to cash. He needs to cash it by April and he shreds them. So it sucks to be that guy, but he also probably deserved it. Um, here's a good one. R slash roast me. Uh, some good memes came out of this one. Um, you know, you post a picture of yourself with a cool or funny caption, and then people roast you. You know, you're signing up for people to make fun of you, and it can be really funny in some cases. Um, like in this case, the carnivorous vagina says, you mean the caveman from Geico commercial? Because him with no eyebrows, he looks like the caveman. Um, and then a little more on the positive side, you have r slash aw, do not add three W's to it, I'll give you that one warning, 
Um, there's a dog taking care of two little bunnies. Uh, pretty cute. All right, uh, that, that is the end of our first lecture here. Do we have any questions? Why do you think, well, that, the, well, why do you think that the melon okay. lesson is the worst lesson that you can learn from a Disney movie? Hey, I, we can answer that in a... Uh... Clearly the worst lesson is from Beauty and the Beast, which is kidnap bitches, they'll fall in love with you. You know that that brings up a fair point. Um, you know, how about tomorrow? You can kidnap uh, someone, and I will bring a watermelon, and we can test which one is worse. How about that? Okay. All right. I don't. Ha I don't have to work tomorrow, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Scott. Great question: Which of the people in the Beauty and the Beast is the Beast? Uh, clearly it's Belle. Yeah. You know, let, let's I stay on topic. Let's we'll stay on topic here. Any any questions about Reddit, me IRL, anything that I covered here? Uh, yes. Did you? Why, why didn't you cover the um, the importance of different subreddits that stole the identity of me IRL, like the German one ich, uh, ich IRL and the Netherlands one ich. Yeah. Whatever. So. Uh, I couldn't fit those into the lecture. That is something that I wanted to uh, put into um, another lecture is all of the uh, sprouts of other subreddits that me IRL is a part of. Um, but yeah, just just with time, you know, sensitive uh, in mind here, I, I didn't I left it out for now. Why no Mr. Skeletal? Dude, dude. Uh, because it is not October, my dude. I'll allow it. What about the subreddit r slash coming on pigeons? <laughs> Alright, uh, that'll be the end of, of class today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for, for coming. It was, it was a great time. Uh, yeah.